Hey everybody, I'm doing a quick one today. I'm gonna to try to see what Saturn's rings look like. You might've seen in your news feed a few weeks ago that Saturn's rings were gonna disappear and that just means they were gonna be edge on from the perspective of the Earth so we wouldn't be able to see them. That was two weeks ago. It was cloudy. Visually, Saturn was too close to the sun to really check it out anyway. So it's a little bit farther away from the sun uh, in the sky right now. And I wanna see if they're still edge on or if now Saturn has uh, tilted enough that we're able to see the rings. So I'm gonna go get the telescope set up and we're gonna go take a look at this. The way I'm gonna do this is I'm gonna go to Venus first uh, because it's very close to Saturn in the sky. I'm gonna get uh, focus on Venus. And then once I get that, I'm gonna drop down to Saturn and see if we can see the rings. Let's do it. As with any of these daytime observations, I have to be inside when I do it, otherwise the sun's too bright, I can't see my screen. Okay, let's look for Venus real quick. Should be a really narrow crescent. I think it was supposed to be like 8% illuminated right now. It would be pretty cool if we can see it. There it is. Oh, sweet. Okay, we can get that focused a little bit better. I'm gonna zoom in on Venus just real quick and take a couple pictures. Wow, that's pretty cool. Okay, we found Venus. Let's go try to find Saturn. Okay, here we go. It's uh, just gonna be a tiny dot. And then we're gonna try to zoom in on it. All right, I'm having a tough time finding it. I'm gonna shut that door a little bit, make it darker. There it is. Oh my gosh, there it is. It's so dim. It's right here. Uh, let's see if we can get a better shot of that. I think what I'm gonna to have to do is take a lot of pictures of this and then through some uh, post-processing, uh, maybe I'll be able to see if we got the rings in there. <sighs> Boy, that is really hard to see. Boy, it's right here. It's so dim. So it's so faint and the atmosphere is so turbulent that I'm having a tough time getting focus. So I'm just taking uh, like 10 or 15 different pictures at different uh, focuses, foci. Foci. All right, let's see what we got. So I processed those daytime pictures and unfortunately with Saturn so close to the sun, it was nearly impossible to bring out any details whatsoever. I probably spent three hours trying to get something out of those pictures and it just was not working. So what I've decided to do, it's a few days later, I've decided to come out here in the early morning when Saturn first pops up over the horizon uh, right before the sun does. Again, still too close to the sun to do any like serious nighttime observations and see if I can get any details when the sun is a little lower in the sky, so maybe a little bit less bright. I'm gonna be shooting through a lot of atmosphere, so Saturn's gonna be really, uh, really wavy uh, going through that much sky, but uh, boy, it can't be any worse than what I had a few days ago. We'll get set up and get going. All right, you can see those clouds I'm dealing with up there, and right now I've got Venus in my viewfinder. Saturn's gonna come up in a little bit. But there's Venus, and here it is on the computer screen. You can see a nice crescent. But that's not what we want today. We want Saturn. Okay, still a few minutes before Saturn comes up, but you can see how blurry Venus is. And that just speaks to how difficult it's gonna to be to get a good sharp picture of Saturn, but we're gonna give it a shot. Okay, Saturn has popped up over the horizon. I should be able to find it. And the sun is not far behind, so I'm gonna kind of move fast. There it is. Okay, that was pretty easy to find. Definitely a little bit more contrast than what we saw in the broad daylight. Um, still just a ball though. Okay, so this is what I got going. You can see on my screen, Saturn. 
and this is what it looks like in real life. Sun coming up. I uh, can't even really see Venus anymore up there. Let's go to HD. There it is. I'm really hoping there's enough contrast here that I can use my image processing software a little bit more effectively than what I used the other day. I'm going to just start grabbing a lot of pictures and hopefully I can tease some details out of this. I'm going to do some bright ones and some dim ones and uh, hopefully something works here. We're already getting into that low contrast time. The sun isn't even up. All right, the sky's getting pretty bright here and you can see I'm also shooting through some low level clouds here, which are not gonna help the pictures. So I'm gonna call it a morning. So after all that, I think I have to say that the rings are still invisible. Uh, the combination of the rings still being more or less edge on from the Earth's perspective and how close Saturn is to the sun just makes it impossible to see the rings. I thought this was gonna be a really quick video. I really thought I'd be able to just go out at that one uh, day and be done with it. It ended up being a lot more effort than that as uh, maybe could be predicted. Uh, but thanks a lot for going along on the ride with me. Hey, if you liked it at all, leave a comment, leave a like. It's really the only way I get feedback uh, to know whether I'm doing stuff that people are uh, enjoying or not. So thanks again for watching. I'll see you next time.